tonight on Big Brother. You're talking over me right now. A looming eviction turns up the heat in the house. You're talking over top of people and I really cannot stand it. Estelle, Sharnay and Layla are nominated, but it's Angie who's on the edge. There's no way I'd let anybody treat you like that. This is how I need to deal with it. A setback in the task as the motorcycle hits stormy weather. <laughs> and Ben's back in the naughty corner. Naughty Benjamin. Boy. Yes, big brother. Be quiet. Shotgun bike. The weekly task continues. A road trip from Perth to the Gold Coast. I think this jumper suits me on the bike, kind of look. <laughs> Looking apart. To be making progress, the housemates have to be on the bike and squeezing the throttle. What do you see that? We're on a road trip. You gotta think We're on a road right. trip. <laughs> Music is a thing I like to listen on the trip. It makes me really happy in the moments I'm saddy. They have to cover 3,600 kilometres in three days. It's a task they're desperate to pass as they're running out of food and morale. No, what do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. What do you call an eye, a deer with no eyes and no legs? What? Still no idea. It's too. Still it's too no idea. Yeah. Still? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> You do get it though, right? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. Um. It's cold this morning. It's freezing, hey. Oof. It's really cold. Do you reckon that's too many? Yeah, because I think... Big Brother has been enforcing the rules. No hot water before bread is baked and basic food rations. Do you reckon you'll give us hot water today? No. No? I reckon he's... Trying to break us. Do you think he will succeed? Yeah. Starting. We're starting. We're starting to run yeah. out of food. We're living off the smell of an oily rag, big brother. But, yeah, we're starving to death, please. I just had to eat sardines. And now, and I don't no. eat sardines, and now I'm sort of eating them from the breath, and, and it could kill me. Is there anything else? That's it. Surly, surly, yes, oh, look at your face. I want your little fishy with you. Look at the fish, it loves me. Hello, oh, Surly. Oh. This is Big Brother. Shane, Estelle and Layla to the diary room. Oh, shucks. Oh, I like her. She's a good one. To lift spirits, Big Brother wants the three nominated girls to host tonight's family dinner. You must not only prepare a nice meal, but you must also provide guests with suitable and entertaining dinner party conversation topics. I'm liking this, really liking this. All right, who needs to know what's going on? You guys know what's going on? What's tiger on tray? Prawns. Tiger prawns. Oh, tiger prawns, tiger salmon. Tiger bite salad, baby. Tiger bite salad. Yeah, that would be nice. What's going on. Okay, cool. And like any topic of conversation, something that you can hold a chair and feel feel passionate about. Oh, it's gonna space. take a while. Get your little blonde head thinking. Yeah. I wanted to have a talk with you, Ben. Mm -hmm. um, inside, maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. Actually, it's got something. To, it's got something to do with Stella. So, yeah. Um. So my issue is like, I really feel like Stella like just really tries to. Not. I don't. Need, I hope it's not purposely, but try and put me down. Um. Just little things that just make me feel uncomfortable. You can say to yourself that she's really young. You can say to yourself that she might not have as much life experience. And you can also say, and this comes from me, and I don't want you to repeat this to anyone, no. is that as far as I'm concerned, there's a little level of... Mm, mm. Wait till you see this topic of conversation I have for tonight. Because I'm, it's, that's, I'm excited is, to see what it your is topic going of conversation to be is. silly. Oh, it's controversial. Just it's not controversial. 
I'm not going, your topic. I mean, I just hope that we have really some controversy. Some, we're in controversy. I don't, I'm not. I'm not. Have, I'm not excited about that at all. I have to say, to, it'll bring to, out some true. Some true. Um, it'll bring out some truths, but I think as well, I've grandstanded. Passion. Give me two seconds. I'm a freak. <laughs> don't let him see. <laughs> you crazy kid. I just want to hear what people are passionate about. Do you know what I mean? Like, could be... I just hope it doesn't get too heated. I hope it does. Why? Because I think that it shows how people feel about things that are important but to them. But there's a difference between passionate and heated, but I hope it doesn't become heated to the point where people, um, you know, become uncomfortable or, um, you know, it becomes intense, because I'd hate for people to feel, like, uncomfortable in the house. But you know what, there's one I was thing hoping. To, I was hoping to on. talk to her before tonight <clears throat> because I can just see her just having a couple of digs and me just going. There's people running back around here the trying the to work out. Know, down. But, but there's people out there working out their bodies to be fit. You need to emotionally be ready for tonight because it's not your job to go up to her. It's your job to no, look no, after no, yourself. If she, if she tries to like do what she always does to me, yeah. I don't have drama in my life. And especially with tonight coming up, you know, I'm sitting there going, oh, I think it'll be a bit of fun. Like, you know, it hopefully it won't get too heated. And she's like, I hope it gets heated. But she wants that. Why would she want to get too heated? But no, I'm just going to say, say that. Can, well, no, yeah. but can I just say, she wants confrontation. Why? You don't why? live in competition. Who says who's right or wrong? Yeah. Why does someone want oh, no. confrontation in life? But why would you say one is right or wrong? Do you know what that says wrong? to me? Do you know what says that? Do you know what says that says to me? Minimal life experience, a minimal, um, minimal life experience, a minimal thought for other. That's exactly what that says to me. Because why would you want to cause confrontation to make someone else feel down? Confrontation, girls, That's is not nice. no, no. no but this, is, Confront this is what my issue. Can I? Just, this is not nice. Honest. No, but can I just say? Did she say she wanted confrontation? She just did in the kitchen. What no. did she say? She said she wanted it to get heated. Oi, babe. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just going to Big Brother. Good girl. Layla. Hi, Big Brother. What can Big Brother do for you? I'm really worried about tonight because there's obviously some people in the house that want to cause tension, confrontation over the dinner table. Who would that be? Estelle's just said it in the kitchen to someone. Are you worried about that? Yeah, I don't particularly want to have dinner if it's going to cause confrontation for people because it's not fair. Why can't they enjoy... This might be my last week in the house. I don't want to sit at a dinner table and argue with people because they want confrontation. That's not fair in my eyes. That's being mean. Oh, I'm bloody crying again. I don't even cry. Coming up... Are you afraid of opinionated conversations? Estelle and Angie, buttheads. Not about the judgement, sweetheart. I reckon how tonight goes is pretty important in the scheme of things. There are two issues bubbling in the house. One is succeeding in the task and winning more money to buy food. The other is Estelle. The big, the big mystery for me is Stella. Oh, man. She's been winding up Angie about what they will talk about at tonight's family dinner. Like, to me, I'm like, either A... We met the real her and now she's playing a game yeah. or she was playing a game and we've met the real her. Yeah. I know how many, I know how many like political discussions what, are going to be there. I just want a bit of a fun topic just to like, skeleton. just to be like, skeleton. you know what? Do something positive then. Yeah, just something, just something a bit, bit of fun that we can all just be like, it, it can just be one of those silly discussions that everybody's yeah. still having their opinion, but. Are you afraid of opinionated conversations? Not at all. No, Are you no, scared no. of the judgment? It's, it's not about the judgment, sweetheart. It's it's not about I'm not that at all. You, so you I don't know. defend yourself. I'm just asking. It's just simply if I don't know enough about the topic, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yeah, talk about talk. it because I don't know enough no, that's, about no, the that's topic. Legit. Yeah, like, that's, that's that's it. Which way you going? Which way you going? Angie is feeling like there's a competition going on between the two of you. After giving Angie advice on how to handle her conflict with Estelle, Benjamin is now talking to the other side. Yeah. 
you're both a little bit insecure, is what I'd say, in a certain way. Mm -hmm. But what's different about the two of you is she sees a hierarchy yeah. and you see independence. You want to be heard for that, who you are. Yeah, I'd say that's independence, yeah. Can you, and do you know what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah. So do you know what I'm saying to you? Mm. But because you both don't, are not fighting the same thing, that's where the clash is coming from. Yeah. So I'm only talking to you like my little sister, I'm not talking to you like my, <laughs> you're my friend, and I'm not siding with her. Yeah, yeah. No one's right or no one's wrong. But sometimes it's really good to become friends with the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That we got to win. Oh, worst road trip ever. All right, would you rather be a cop? You guys we said probably, a puddle. We probably deserve that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me innermost sanctum is freezing. <laughs> Your face is like that. This week the boys are trying to guess the girl's secrets. They're especially curious as to which girl used to be a champion weightlifter. I still couldn't stop laughing when Zoe bench pressed you, eh? That was hilarious. Did you do weights at school? No. Just palm work and stuff. You just get muscle. Build it. You look like you had some good technique going there, eh? I could not. I could not live on a farm, eh? It's just way too much manual, manual labour for me. I just want to see how strong you are. Because <laughs> you beat Ben as well, I. Oh, no. <laughs> nah. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> I'll have you some water in a sec. Last night in the man cave, Ryan convinced himself that Estelle's secret is that she is related to royalty. Here and there. What are these? Symbolic? Yeah. That one, that one is for my godmother. That one? Mothers. Yep. Godmother? And that one. I love gold. Yeah, bling bling. A little bit of bling bling. Yep. And diamonds, if I ever need money, I sell them. Sorry? If I ever need money, I can sell them. They have pure diamonds? Yep. Even that? Yep. I'd rather have some, like a couple of pieces of good quality jewellery than a heap of junk. Yeah. Of gold. You never take them off. No, because I'll leave them. It's happened with mother ones. <laughs> okay, one, two, two three. three. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm like the weakest girl. Oh. Ever. <laughs> George crushed me before, so I've got some. Oh, oh really? Me. My arm's like jelly. So you know what that weak? I think really. Really. Huh? I, I think you push it. it. What is it? Hey. Oh, this is push it. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I love that. I just a little bit of strain. Was it? Okay. That's even. That's in the middle. Go, okay. okay, Brad. Go, Go on, Brad. So oh, oh, Brad. She's strong. And that's it. I'm done. Estelle isn't the only one who's clashed with Angie. Sarah. Hey, big brother. How are you feeling? <sighs> I feel good, I'm feeling a bit guilty. I've got to go and talk to Ange, but I don't think she's in the frame of mind to be receptive of what I might have to say. And I don't know if I have the skills yet to put it in a way that will be positive for her, not negative. What seems to be the problem? Uh, her aggressiveness. You know, we're nine years apart and in so many ways she's had to grow up as a a young person into an, an older person. And then I see her be mean to other people and I don't like it. She's missing out, you know? Next up, oh, I reckon she's the best one out of all. Yeah. George and Ray pick their house hotties. Always the case, man. All the good ones are taken. That would suck if you were to leave. I know it would, wouldn't it? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> With three girls up for eviction, the boys are beginning to realise how much they might miss them. Out of all these girls, who do you reckon is the hottest one? Like, which one do you like the most? OK, so we've got Estelle. Definitely. Ryan's already dipped it. Yo. Yeah, that's right. Sarah's, Sarah is probably 
Do you think Sarah could be? I reckon, for me it is. I think she could be. If I, if I had to pick anyone, but she's got a boyfriend. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's she's the a reality. She's the best one at all. Mate, that's the way the cookie crumbles. It is, eh? Um, it's always is, isn't it? Always the case, man. All the good ones are taken. Benjamin was punished yesterday for not wearing his microphone. Tonight, he has accidentally broken one. Benjamin. Hi, big brother. Um, I was walking back from the kitchen just then and playfully decided to spin around the pole. Um, and I noticed that after I walked away that the microphone has actually fallen down. Can you refresh big brother's memory? Is there a sign on the pole saying, housemates free to swing on this pole at any time? No, it certainly does not say that. This does constitute a breach of the housemate guidelines and will be dealt with at a later time. Is that clear? That is clear. Thank you, Benjamin. You're free to go. Thank you. That is all. Maybe you'd be more relaxed if you had maybe got oh, to know really? a few more people. Like, and Earlier, Sarah told Big Brother she felt Angie hasn't made an effort with some of the housemates. Now she's ready to bring it out into the open. Tell me to take a huge flying leap, but there's probably more to me, more to a lot of other people that we all need to kind of oh, okay, definitely. acknowledge before yeah. time gets away because days are going quick and we're getting into a routine and that's really nice. Like, for example, I was feeling a little bit defensive of someone in the house last night that got 22 votes and there was two people that walked up to her and said, that's terrible. Yeah, obviously people are going to get clicky. Unfortunately, that's what happened because in my mind this is very much like school um, in the fact that you're pushed together with people that y you haven't chosen but have been like in a really tight situation and you're spending all your time with them. I well, said, but the difference. Well, if I can is... just pop into another perspective, I'm 30, this is so not like school for me. I'm enjoying my holiday and enjoying every second I spend with everybody. I don't want you to look back and go, I really did not give everybody a chance. I usually play I Spy on one road trip. Yeah, can't play that. <laughs> well, you, you can't play that here. Well, there's not much on this bloody board in front of us, is there? No. I don't think I realised how much people thought that it was quite clicky. And, and I appreciate you saying that, like, saying it in a way that it's not like, and, you know, you don't, you know, don't, don't do you this, do, do you, that. You're yeah, your exactly. own person. Yeah. You are your own person and that's what is, that's what I respect about you. Definitely. I mean, okay, tricky. things. <laughs> Just discussing something. No, definitely, and I appreciate that. Oh, Hi. sweet. I'm going to go to the bathroom quickly. No, I don't even care about getting nominated right now. To cheer them up, the three nominated girls, Sharnay, Layla and Estelle, have been given extra food to prepare a three-course family dinner. This food is amazing. The company's amazing, and I'm enjoying it myself. Yay, One hell of a lot. Me too. Yes. Good. It's actually the kind of the, the best I've felt all week. Good. Just quietly. Oh, Just good. quietly. <laughs> quick, quick. You're right. You okay? Oh, no. oh you burnt your finger. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. Just keep it under there. Ten minutes. All right. Poor thing. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I just wanted to come in here so I could have a bit of time to myself. I felt like a little bit negative towards um, Estelle at the start of the day, just because I think the way, like, the way she goes about things is different. I don't even know why I'm crying, just give me a sec. And then have Sarah pretty much turn around to me and say, oh, you know, you're a wonderful person, but maybe you need to like see that there's other people around. And I know that they're all saying it to help me, but it's like, just give us a break for a little bit, you know? Coming up, housemates laid bare. I'd really like to be able to open up to people a lot more. To save Layla, call 1902 559508, SMS Layla to 199 or vote on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nominated girls Layla, Sharnay and Estelle have spent hours preparing tonight's family dinner. But it's not just about the food. Each housemate has prepared a topic of conversation to discuss one at a time. Who's... Who's subject wants to be spoken about first? Order. 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 That's oh, me. <laughs> Layla's topic is Australian culture versus English culture. Do you think the quality of life over here is different to the quality of life over there? Yeah. And does that make you go, oh, I'd love to have an, an Aussie baby? Or does it make you think, oh, I'd, I'd, I couldn't do that. I'd have to go home and, and raise this child the no. way that I was raised. No, I would have an Aussie baby. I would not take, I would not let my kid. It's a completely different way of life. Like you can go to, you can just go to the park. There's barbecues at the park. In England, they would be destroyed. Yeah. They'd be blown up. Yeah. And it's the weather mainly. Yeah. Because the weather's so grey in England, everybody's grey with it. With 14 housemates, there's plenty to discuss. Michael has chosen the topic of the event that has defined their lives. What it is was me getting my apprenticeship and yeah, how I got it. Yeah, so like I always wanted to go to uni, but obviously like our family never had the money, so I had to stay in town. And um, like I reckon whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. You know, like yeah. I felt like I was obliged to help my mum and sister, so. Like I got the best marks at my school. I got ducks. I got the highest in my maths, and that helped me. And that's yeah. that, that's how I got my apprenticeship. Like even though I felt relaxed, you know, I felt like a weight. Always like I felt like I'm the man of the house, and like I've helped my family. You know what I mean? So. I can do this. So mine was just that I moved out of home when I was quite young. Um, so I was I was 15 and I moved out of home and I did the park thing. I did the share house thing. I did the um, welfare thing and. You know, it was really difficult and I finally came round to the, um, the prospect that it's, it's not all bad and I was able to um, somehow keep myself in school. Shanae's story is the most personal of all. One of the most significant things that have happened to me is having my father pass away on me when I was quite young. I've never really honestly and truly dealt with it. And then two years after that, my mum had to go through chemotherapy. Being an only child, it's really hard to deal with. It's just, it was such a significant thing because I had to grow up so incredibly quickly. That's why I am, and I apologise, I am so closed off. And I am so, I'm this angry young lady inside, and I know I am, and it's really hard to break down those walls. Anyway, I can't talk about this anymore, I'm sorry. You did, right, did well. Well done, Shana. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Well done. It's gorgeous. Earlier in the day, Angie was concerned about tonight's topics becoming too passionate. But so far, everyone has been behaving. Don't be so greedy. You've had the most, you've had, you've had the most beer. Come on, girl. You girl that hit the bloody spot As they move to the lounge, talk turns to what they would change about themselves. Change one thing. Uh, you probably figured out that I like to talk, so I won't take too long. Um, probably just what a lot of uh, a lot of people saying. I'm very much a high achiever, and I probably put too much pressure on myself, and I'd like to change that. And being able to open up to people. Um, I talk a lot. I don't know if I'll ever be able to love someone for a long time, and I've been single for a long time Sorry, by choice. Alex. But I know Angie is in a better position to open her heart, and I think I could learn a lot from you in that respect. So I'd really like to be able to open up to people a lot more. Perhaps to become a little less independent and be able to depend on someone else. So that's what we're... I'd fix anything in my life. I'd fix my st 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 stutter, for sure. Yeah, perfect <laughs> example. <laughs> Did you put that on? No. no. OK, fair enough. No. No, I, I don't fake my stuff. No, because, like, um, you know, it's not... It's just, like, the small things in life that I hate doing. I hate talking on the phone. I hate getting, you know, like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, to get, you know, like, a pizza or, like, a hamburger. I went... Uh, I, I had some um, uh, friends in the car once and they wanted, you know, some fast food and we had to go, 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 go go through the drive-through and then you know and then because I was the driver it was up to me to order and they just like say things and normally I wouldn't you know have those things because I can't say them 
and I was forced to say them and it was excruciating and it was terrible. Like the small things that people take for you know, answer. I wish I could have, I try and think about a time in my life in which I could talk perfectly. Yeah. I can't imagine how good it would feel to be able to not have any fear to talk in like any, you know, part of my life, you know. So I don't hate my, you know, my, you know, how I talk, but, you know. It, and who you are. It, 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 yeah, it like comes from who I am. But, you know, if I had the ch chance to, you know, have it, you know, boom and gone, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd say yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. take That's it away and yeah. set me free. Well, like but. Coming up. My lips are really, really salty. To save Sharnay, call 1902-559-504, SMS Sharnay to 199-5599 or vote on Facebook. He's big brother. Benjamin. <laughs> Report to the naughty corner. Oh. Earlier tonight, Benjamin broke one of Big Brother's microphones by swinging on a pole in the backyard. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs> Benjamin. Yes, Big Brother. In front of you, there is a bowl of mixed chips. You must sort all of the mixed chips into the appropriately labelled bowl. You must do this by individually licking each chip to ensure you sort them correctly. You may not leave the naughty corner until Big Brother is satisfied. Big brother, it's Benjamin. My lips are really, really salty. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze. And the air conditioning in here is really terrible for my eyes. And not being allowed to talk to everyone else is really bad for the soul. And like the hardest thing ever is that I love talking to people and you've made me sit in here all night and I've missed out on everyone talking. That's what happens to naughty boys. <laughs> Brother, I'm, I'm not a really naughty Benjamin. boy. Benjamin. Yes, big brother. Be quiet. <laughs> you were told you may not leave the naughty corner until big brother is satisfied. Big brother is satisfied. Yeah! That's all. <laughs> this is big brother. Oh, Male housemates to the man cave. In the man cave, the boys have been set the task of guessing some of the girls' deepest, darkest secrets. Ugh. Mate, okay. It just smells like man in here, right? <laughs> We're not black. Okay, fellas. Uh, so Shane is completely 100% compulsive disorder. Yeah. I'm going to talk. She she was like she has a lint roller. I've seen her snapping at insects that go to her. All sorts of weird things. So she's not the type of person to do a nude protest. So we can because I was kind of tossing up, thinking, oh, you know, vegetarian. Sarah would never do a nude protest. Yeah, all right. I didn't know that. She's okay, so too. we want to um, point out problems that are annoying us about people because I would happily like to do it. Yeah. 
I mean, if I can, do, like, but I don't want to have to stab at one person because it's only one thing that's annoyed me through the whole week. If you say it, then we can only move. You can well, only Estelle, you're doing it now. You're talking over top of people, and I really cannot stand it. It is my pet hate in life. Yeah. I just, it's got to the point where I have to walk away from discussions at points because I can't, I can't stand to be there because I'm just, I'll blow a fuse. And I hate being confrontational. I just don't do well with it. I guess I've, I've just got to say one thing though. I feel like that I've got to compete to speak and I think everyone feels like that but it more that it feels like the courtesy sometimes isn't there when I speak like I always try and be courteous with people and, and I you know I'm, I'll be mindful of this cutting people off but like I felt as well I'm like I'm not doing anything and suddenly the dynamics have changed and you guys and you might not even have been aware but we're, we're standing there just being positive being stupid being ourselves and there's this like what scene behind the scenes of a real catty thing particularly from you and but what I was like See, and I was like is, maybe I'm reading into it too much and I'll probably say that I am really, now. This really really hurts me because I'm and this is why I, I feel, needed though. to remove myself from the conversation because today it has been constant attack no, and I no 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 it doesn't and matter how anyone puts it you're wanting to take it as attack no I'm it isn't you, I'm not having a go at you I'm you, you're talking over me right now because all I'm trying talking, to do is get over me Sarah also has an issue with the developing click in the house and feels Angie is closed off to the older housemates if I'm wrong tell me to zip off and I don't know anything but I have seen some rolling of eyes. I have seen you girls look at each other and in empathetic go, mm -hmm. they're speaking again. And I, I, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, but what do you mean? And I'm oh, like, whoa. Jesus. Is that a backwards No, case? no, wait. No, now they're laughing. She said backwards. Girls are so confusing, eh? My head hurts. Stacey's not that confusing. I, I've seen you go, and I've seen Layla go. Me? But, yeah. I would never, ever, ever, ever roll my eyes at somebody or make them feel uncomfortable. Never. Yeah. Angie is, right. is bigger, shh, but she's not as small. Why are you shushing shush, me? Shut yeah. Shh. She can. Oh, you can hear her. This is Big Brother. Male housemates, your time in the man cave is up. Um, can, yeah, yeah, can we stay? <laughs> it's time to return to the house. That's, that's not okay where I sit. Um, okay, okay, I'll show you segregation. I'll so show you segregation. Here's someone that was in tears most of last night. Who knew that? Who knew that? Because if that was me and nobody cared but two other people in this room, I would be devastated. And she has every right to be. Who knew that? Who asked her? Who gave her a cuddle? Not one of you. And you guys are better than that. I know you're better than that. You have beautiful hearts. And I've seen them. And I've seen them, Ange. If that was you, there's no way I'd let anybody treat you like that. The way you're no talking way. to me, I... Honestly, I don't think that I'm that much of a... To well, be don't, sitting I'm here and copying it. I am, girl. though. We're no, no, not. No, we're not. No, this, this is how I need to deal with it, because... You specifically said my name, and you specifically you said my name, an and We're I just, just need saying, to—I need to have a bit of time because that, to me, doesn't sit okay. fantastically. Okay. Still to come. Let me in. The boys are back, and they're all annoying me. To save Estelle, call 1902-559505, SMS Estelle to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. The boys have just emerged from a session in the man cave to find a house divided. So, well, 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 what's going on here? Uh, we're just having a chat just about stuff. About what? Oh, I don't know, maybe people's insecurities into reading things in particular, being me and maybe other people, but uh, the rest, yeah, yeah, Angie's left, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure she'll come back in and talk to us. Yeah. Let me in. The boys are back and they're all annoying me. Don't, don't cry there. Oh, yeah. I've never been so judged for making friends and trying to have a good time. You've not done anything wrong. Like, apparently I have, but haven't I? 
You haven't done anything wrong because you haven't said anything to hurt anybody. Do you know what it is? Some people sometimes Josh. cause conflict because of their own insecurities. Just talking. I just want to go to bed, I think. Today has been one of those days. Yeah. That's to me, like, what am I doing here? Yeah. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. It's just stressful because I don't want there to be, like I said, it could be my last week, so I don't want there to be any tension. Well, I'm just going to go to sleep, I think. Did you um, think I did an okay job at being the uh, leader girl? I forgot what it's called. The... I forgot, chaperone, no, it's not a chaperone, is it? The, the thing that I was tonight, do you think I did okay? Layla, big brother, felt you were a very gracious host. Oh, that's really nice. It's, what's, what's really gracious? I just think it's ironic that, you know, I, I didn't realise you could have a one-man group and that one person could be such a when she doesn't realise that she is. Do you so, think that Sarah's being a or do you think no, no, that it's no. I, I, Apparently I am. No, you're not being a No, well, I am. Because people have problems with me that nobody at the board. No, 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 it is. It's not like that. <laughs> it is like that. Sarah. Hi, big brother. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel like crap. I feel really terrible. And I don't think it was what I said. I don't think it was how I said it. Maybe I just should have butted it out. When people say negative stuff about me and I sit here and I think that I've just been trying my hardest yeah. to be a nice person and available to chat and, and I've been so open and so honest and then mm. someone comes back and says that about me, I think, well, I'm not the person I think I am and that's mm. clearly something that maybe I'm denying to myself. She does need to listen and learn from other people which she's not willing to do, you know. She finds an angle, she'll jump on it and, and roll with it and get louder with it, which is, you know, maybe what I did when I was 21 too. Mum. Sarah, I never ever thought that she could have something like, you know, any negative thought come out of her mouth. And yeah, she just like, in my mind, tore me down a little bit. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> did not expect to hear that come out of your mouth. And I know that she's just sticking up for Shanae, but Shanae hasn't even said anything to me. And now Sarah's telling me that there's specific incidents where I've been nasty. Big Brother would suggest not every problem is necessarily yours to fix. Mm. Can I be the official party planner? Ryan turns 22 on Friday and housemates are hoping for another Big Brother party. I oh, will come in and ask if Ryan Gosling's coming. And if not, can we have Craig Davis? <laughs> yeah, right. Because <laughs> we think that Ryan would really enjoy that. No, I won't. Yeah. Guest appearance for his birthday. <laughs> what theme are you having, Ryan? Oh, it's not my party. It's Stacey's apparently it organising it. So whatever Stacey wants. Thanks, babes. That's a, that's a good... That'll be a good actual idea to let Stacey organise it. Her knows how to go and have a good time with the capital T. At the end of the night, it's up to Michael to sum up the day's dramas. I don't know, and I sort of feel guilty now. I don't, I don't know how to deal with the whole nomination process. And it's where wars start, big brother. That's where wars start, and I just don't want that. Um, so hopefully, we'll be able to figure it out amicably, or as amicable as possible, or with heaps of blood and tears and screaming. So, it looks good. <laughs> oh, it's hard, I feel like I don't get emotional ever, unless I'm watching about a boy, or love actually, by myself, hungover. I guess it feels like tonight's the night where it's all started. I shouldn't have said anything, big brother. I should have just kept to myself.
Coming up tonight at 10 past 10, don't miss a late night look at the Big Brother housemates on Big Brother Confidential. 10 past 10 tonight on 9. or vote on Facebook. Nominated girls Layla, Shane and Estelle have spent hours preparing tonight's family dinner. But it's not just about the food. Each housemate has prepared a topic of conversation to discuss one at a time. Who's, whose subject wants to be spoken about first? Go in order. Order. Oh, me. Layla's topic is Australian culture versus English culture. Do you think the quality of life over here is different to the quality of life over there? Yeah. And does that make you go, oh, I'd love to have an, an Aussie baby? Or does it make you think, oh, I'd, I'd, I couldn't do that. I'd have to go home and, and raise this child the no. way that I was raised. No, I would have an Aussie baby. I would not take, I would not let my kid. It's a completely different way of life. Like you can go to, you can just go to the park. There's barbecues at the park. In England, they would be destroyed. Yeah. They'd be blown up. Yeah. And it's the weather mainly yeah. because the weather's so gray in England. Everybody's gray with it. With 14 housemates, there's plenty to discuss. Michael has chosen the topic of the event that has defined their lives. What it is was me getting my apprenticeship and yeah, how I got it. Yeah, so like I always wanted to go to uni, but obviously like our family never had the money, so I had to stay in town. And um, like I reckon whatever you put your mind to, you can do it, you know? Like yeah. I felt like I was obliged to help my mum and sister. So like I got the best marks at my school. I got ducks, I got the highest in my maths and that helped me. And that's, yeah. and that's how I got my apprenticeship. Like even though I felt relaxed, you know, I felt like, I, wait, always, like I felt like I'm the man of the house. And like I've helped my family, you know what I mean? So I can do this. So mine was just that I moved out of home when I was quite young. Um, so I was I was 15 and I moved out of home and I did the park thing, I did the share house thing, I did the um, welfare thing, and you know it was really difficult. And I finally came round to the um, the prospect that it's it's not all bad, and I was able to um, somehow keep myself in school. Shanae's story is the most personal of all. One of the most significant things that have happened to me is having my father pass away on me when I was quite young. I've never really honestly and truly dealt with it. And then two years after that, my mum had to go through chemotherapy. Being an only child, it's really hard to deal with. It's just, it was such a significant thing because I had to grow up so incredibly quickly. That's why I am, and I apologise, I am so closed off, and I am so, I'm this angry young lady inside, and I know I am, and it's really hard to break down those walls. Anyway, I can't talk about this anymore, I'm sorry. You did, did well. She has a lint roller, I've seen her snapping at insects that go to her, all sorts of weird things. So she's not the type of person to do a nude protest. So we can, because I was kind of tossing up thinking, oh, you know, vegetarian. Sarah would never do a nude protest. Yeah, all right. I didn't know that. She's okay, so. too. We want to um, point out problems that are annoying us about people, because I would happily like to do it. Yeah. I mean, if I can, do, like, but I don't want to have to stab at one person because it's only one thing that's annoyed me through the whole week. If you say it, then we can only move... Can well, only Estelle, move. you're doing it now. You're talking over top of people, and I really cannot stand it. It is my pet hate in life. Yeah. I just... It's got to the point where I have to walk away from discussions at points because I can't, I can't stand to be there because I'm just... I'll blow a fuse. And I hate being confrontational. I just don't deal well with it. I guess I've, I've just got to say one thing, though. I feel like that I've got to compete to speak and I think everyone feels like that but it more that it feels like the courtesy sometimes isn't there when I speak like I always try and be courteous with people and, and I you know I'm, I'll be mindful of this cutting people off but like I felt as well I'm like I'm not doing anything and suddenly the dynamics have changed and you guys and you might not even have been aware but we're, we're standing there just being positive being stupid being ourselves and there's this like what scene behind the scenes of a real catty thing particularly from you and but what i was mean, like see, and i was like is, maybe i'm reading into it too much and i'll probably say that this I am now really really hurts me because I'm and this is why i, I feel, needed though. to remove myself from the conversation because today it has been constant attack no, and I, no, 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 it doesn't and matter how anyone puts it. You're wanting to take it as an attack. No, I'm it isn't. You, I'm not having a go at you. I'm you you're talking over me right now. Because All I'm trying to do is get... Over me. 
Sarah also has an issue with the developing clique in the house and feels Angie is closed off to the older housemates. If I'm wrong, tell me to zip off and I don't know anything, but I have seen some rolling of eyes. I have seen you girls look at each other and in empathetic go, mm, they're speaking again. And I, I, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, but what do you mean? And I'm oh, like, whoa. Jesus. Is that a backwards No, case? no, wait, no, now they're laughing. She said backwards Girls case. are so confusing, eh? My head hurts. Stacey's not that confusing. I, I've seen you go, and I've seen Layla go. Me? But, yeah. I would never, ever, ever, ever roll my eyes at somebody or make them feel uncomfortable. Never. Yeah. Angie is, right. is bigger, shush, but she's not as small. Why are you shushing me? Oh, you can hear it. This is Big Brother. Male housemates, your time in the man cave is up. Um, can, yeah, yeah, can we stay? <laughs> it's time to return to the house. That's, that's not okay where I sit. Okay, um, okay, I'll show you segregation. I'll so show you segregation. Here's someone that was in tears most of last night. Who knew that? We're doing here. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Yeah, it's just stressful because I don't want there to be, like I said, it could be my last week, so I don't want there to be any tension. Well, I'm just gonna go to sleep, I think. Did you um, think I did an okay job at being the uh, leader girl? I forgot what it's called. The, I forgot, chaperone, no, it's not a chaperone, is it? The, the thing that I was tonight, do you think I did okay? Layla, big brother, felt you were a very gracious host. Oh, that's really nice. It's, what's, what's really gracious? I just think it's ironic that, you know, I, I didn't realise you could have a one-man group and that one person could be such a when she doesn't realise that she is. Do you think that Sarah's being a or do you think no, no, that it's no. I, I Apparently I am. No, you're not being a No, well, I am. Because people have problems with me that nobody had the balls to know. No, 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 no. It's not like that. <laughs> it is like that. Sarah. Hi, big brother. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel like crap. I feel really terrible. And I don't think it was what I said, I don't think it was how I said it. Maybe I just should have butted out. When people say negative stuff about me and I sit here and I think that I've just been trying my hardest yeah. to be a nice person and available to chat and, and I've been so open and so honest and then mm. someone comes back and says that about me, I think, well, I'm not the person I think I am and that's mm. clearly something that maybe I'm denying to myself. She does need to listen and learn from other people, which she's not willing to do, you know. She finds an angle, she'll jump on it and, and roll with it and get louder with it, which is, you know, maybe what I did when I was 21 too. Mum. Sarah, I never ever thought that she could have something like, you know, any negative thought come out of her mouth and yeah she just like in my mind tore me down a little bit and I was just like oh I did not expect to hear that come out of your mouth and I know that she's just sticking up for Shanae but Shanae hasn't even said anything to me and now Sarah's telling me that there's specific incidents where I've been nasty. Big Brother would suggest not every problem is necessarily yours to fix. Mm. Can I be the official party planner? Just keep it under there. Ten minutes, all right? Poor thing. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. <laughs> Angie. I just wanted to come in here so I could have a bit of time to myself. I felt like a little bit negative towards um, Estelle at the start of the day, just because I think the way, like... The way she goes about things is different. I don't even know why I'm crying, just give me a sec. And then have Sarah pretty much turn around to me and say, oh, you know, 
you're a wonderful person, but maybe you need to, like, see that there's other people around. And I know that they're all saying it to help me, but it's like, just give us a break for a little bit, you know? Coming up, housemates laid bare. I'd really like to be able to open up to people a lot more. To save Layla, call 1902 559508. SMS Layla to 199 or vote on Facebook. Nominated girls Layla, Shane, and Estelle have spent hours preparing tonight's family dinner. But it's not just about the food. Each housemate has prepared a topic of conversation to discuss one at a time. Who's, whose subject wants to be spoken about first? Go in order. Order. Oh, me. Layla's topic is Australian culture versus English culture. Do you think the quality of life over here is different to the quality of life over there? Yeah. And does that make you go, oh, I'd love to have an, an Aussie baby? Or does it make you think, oh, I'd, I'd, I couldn't do that. I'd have to go home and, and raise this child the no. way that I was raised. No, I would have an Aussie baby. I would not take, I would not let my kid. It's a completely different way of life. Like, you can go to, you can just go to the park. There's barbecues at the park. In England, they would be destroyed. Yeah. They'd be blown up. Yeah. And it's the weather, mainly. Yeah. Because the weather's so grey in England, everybody's grey with it. With 14 housemates, there's plenty to discuss. Michael has chosen the topic of the event that has defined their lives. What it is was me getting my apprenticeship and yeah, how I got it. Yeah, so like I always wanted to go to uni, but obviously like our family never had the money, so I had to stay in town. And um, like I reckon whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. You know, like yeah. I felt like I was obliged to help my mum and sister, so. Like I got the best marks at my school, I got ducks, I got the highest in my maths, and that helped me, and that's... Yeah. that's... How are you feeling? Oh, I feel like crap. I feel really terrible. And I don't think it was what I said, I don't think it was how I said it. Maybe I just should have butted out. <sighs> when people say negative stuff about me and I sit here and I think that I've just been trying my hardest, yeah. to be a nice person and available to chat and, and I've been so open and so honest and then mm. someone comes back and says that about me, I think, well, I'm not the person I think I am and that's mm. clearly something that maybe I'm denying to myself. She does need to listen and learn from other people which she's not willing to do, you know. She finds an angle, she'll jump on it and and roll with it and get louder with it, which is, you know, maybe what I did when I was 21 too. Mum. Sarah, I never ever thought that she could have something like, you know, any negative thought come out of her mouth. And yeah, she just like, in my mind, tore me down a little bit. And I was just like, oh, I did not expect to hear that come out of your mouth. And I know that she's just sticking up for Shanae. But Shanae hasn't even said anything to me. And now Sarah's telling me that there's specific incidents where I've been nasty. Big Brother would suggest not every problem is necessarily yours to fix. Mm. Can I be the official party planner? Ryan turns 22 on Friday and housemates are hoping for another Big Brother party. I will come in and ask if Ryan Gosling's coming. And if not, can we have Craig Davis? <laughs> yeah, right. Because <laughs> we think that Ryan would really enjoy that. No, I won't. <laughs> Guest appearance for his birthday. <laughs> what theme are you having, Ryan? Oh, it's not my party. It's Stacey's apparently it organising it. So whatever Stacey wants. Thanks, babes. That's a, that's a good... That'll be a good actual idea to let Stacey organise it. Her knows how to go have a good time with the capital T. At the end of the night, it's up to Michael to sum up the day's dramas. I don't know, I sort of feel guilty now. I don't, I don't know how to deal with the whole nomination process and... It's where wars start, big brother. That's where wars start and I just don't want that. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to figure it out amicably. 
or as amicable as possible, all with heaps of blood and tears and screaming, so it looks good. <laughs> oh, it's hard, I feel I'm, like I don't get emotional ever, unless I'm watching about a boy. I've seen some rolling of eyes. I have seen you girls look at each other and in empathetic go, mm -hmm. they're speaking again. And I, I, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, but what do you mean? <laughs> and I'm oh, like, whoa. Jesus. Is that a backwards No, case? no, wait, no, case? now they're laughing. She said backwards Girls case. are so confusing, eh? My head hurts. Stacey's not that confusing. I, I've seen you go, and I've seen Layla go. Me? But, yeah. I would never, ever, ever, ever roll my eyes at somebody or make them feel uncomfortable, never. Yeah. Angie is, right. is bigger, shh, shh, but she's not as small. Why are you shushing shush, me? Shut up. Shh, she can. Oh, you can hear her. This is Big Brother. Male housemates, your time in the man cave is up. Um, can, yeah, yeah, can we stay? <laughs> it's time to return to the house. That's, that's not okay where I sit. Okay, um, okay, I'll show you segregation. I'll so show you segregation. Here's someone that was in tears most of last night. Who knew that? Who knew that? Because if that was me and nobody cared but two other people in this room, I would be devastated. And she has every right to be. Who knew that? Who asked her? Who gave her a cuddle? Not one of you. And you guys are better than that. I know you're better than that. You have beautiful hearts. And I've seen them. And I've seen them, Ange. If that was you, there's no way I'd let anybody treat you like that. The way you're no talking way. to me, I... Honestly, I don't think that I'm that much of a... To we're be dying. sitting we're here and copying it. I am, Girl. though. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, this is how I need to deal with it, because... You specifically said my name, and you specifically said my name, an and We're I just, just need saying, to—I need to have a bit of time because that, to me, doesn't sit okay. fantastically. Okay. Still to come. Let me in. The boys are back, and they're all annoying me. To save Estelle, call 1902-559505, SMS Estelle to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. The boys have just emerged from a session in the man cave to find a house divided. So, well, 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 what's going on here? Uh, we're just having a chat, just about stuff. About what? Oh, I don't know, maybe people's insecurities into reading things in particular, being me and maybe other people, but the rest, yeah, yeah, Angie's left, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll, I'm sure she'll come back in and talk to us. Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> yes, big brother. In front of you, there is a bowl of mixed chips. You must sort all of the mixed chips into the appropriately labelled bowl. You must do this by individually licking each chip to ensure you sort them correctly. You may not leave the naughty corner until big brother is satisfied. <laughs> Big brother, it's Benjamin. My lips are really, really salty. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze. And the air conditioning in here is really terrible for my eyes. And not being allowed to talk to everyone else is really bad for the soul. 
And like the hardest thing ever is that I love talking to people and you've made me sit in here all night and I've missed out on everyone talking. That's what happens to naughty boys. <laughs> Brother, I'm, I'm not a really naughty Benjamin. boy. Benjamin. Yes, big brother. Be quiet. <laughs> you were told you may not leave the naughty corner until big brother is satisfied. Big brother is satisfied. Yeah! That's all. This is Big Brother. Male housemates to the man cave. In the man cave, the boys have been set the task of guessing some of the girls' deepest, darkest secrets. Mate, okay. It smells like man in here, right? We're not black. Okay, uh, so Shane is completely 100% compulsive disorder. Yep. I'm going to talk. She, she was like, she has a lint roller. I've seen her snapping at insects that go to her, all sorts of weird things. Because why would you want to cause confrontation to make someone else feel down? Confrontation girls That's is. Not nice. No, no. no but this, is, Confront this is what my issue can I just, This is not nice. nice. No, but can I just say. Did she say she wanted confrontation? She just did in the kitchen. What no. did she say? She said she wanted it to get heated. Oi, babe. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just going to Big Brother. Good girl. Layla. Hi, Big Brother. What can Big Brother do for you? I'm really worried about tonight because there's obviously some people in the house that want to cause tension confrontation over the dinner table. Who would that be? Estelle's just said it in the kitchen to someone. Are you worried about that? Yeah, I don't particularly want to have dinner if it's going to cause confrontation for people because it's not fair. Why can't they enjoy... This might be my last week in the house. I don't want to sit at dinner table and argue with people because they want confrontation. That's not fair in my eyes. That's being mean. Oh, I'm bloody crying again. I don't even cry. Coming up... Are you afraid of opinionated conversations? Estelle and Angie, buttheads. Not about the judgement, sweetheart. I reckon how tonight goes it's pretty important in the scheme of things. There are two issues bubbling in the house. One is succeeding in the task and winning more money to buy food. The other is Estelle. The big, the big mystery for me is Stella. Oh, man. She's been winding up Angie about what they will talk about at tonight's family dinner. Like, to me, I'm like, either A... We met the real her and now she's playing a game yeah. or she was playing a game and we've met the real her. Yeah. I know how many, I don't know how many like political discussions what, what are going to be there. I just want a bit of a fun topic skeletons, just to like, skeletons. just to be like, skeletons. you know what? Do something positive then. Yeah, just something, just something a bit, bit of fun that we can all just be like, it, it can just be one of those silly discussions that everybody's yeah. still having their opinion, but. Are you afraid of opinionated conversations? Not at all. No, Are you no, scared no. of the judgment? It's, it's not about the judgment, sweetheart. It's it's not about I'm not that at all. You, so you I don't know. defend yourself. I'm just asking. It's just simply if I don't know enough about the topic, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna to talk about talk it because I don't know enough no, that's, about no, the that's topic. Legit. Yeah, like that's, that's that's it. Which way going? Which way going? Angie is feeling like there's a competition going on between the two of you. After giving Angie advice on how to handle her. Coming up, housemates laid bare. I'd really like to be able to open up to people a lot more. To save Layla, call 1902 559508. SMS Layla to 199 or vote on Facebook. Nominated girls Layla, Shane, and Estelle have spent hours preparing tonight's family dinner. But it's not just about the food. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Each
each housemate has prepared a topic of conversation to discuss one at a time. Who's, whose subject wants to be spoken about first? Got an order. 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 That's easier. Oh, me. <laughs> Layla's topic is Australian culture versus English culture. Do you think the quality of life over here is different to the quality of life over there? Yeah. And does that make you go, oh, I'd love to have an, an Aussie baby? Or does it make you think, oh, I'd, I'd, I couldn't do that. I'd have to go home and, and raise this child the no. way that I was raised. No, I would have an Aussie baby. I would not take, I would not let my kid. It's a completely different way of life. Like, you can go to, you can just go to the park. There's barbecues at the park. In England, they would be destroyed. Yeah. They'd be blown up. Yeah. And it's the weather, mainly. Yeah. Because the weather's so grey in England, everybody's grey with it. With 14 housemates, there's plenty to discuss. Michael has chosen the topic of the event that has defined their lives. What it is was me getting my apprenticeship and yeah, how I got it. Yeah, so like I always wanted to go to uni, but obviously like our family never had the money, so I had to stay in town. And um, like I reckon whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. You know, like yeah. I felt like I was obliged to help my mum and sister, so like I got the best marks at my school. I got ducks. I got the highest in my maths, and that helped me. And that's yeah. and that's how I got my apprenticeship. Like even I felt relaxed. You know, I felt like I wait. Always, like I felt like I'm the man of the house. And like I've helped my family, you know what I mean? So I can do this. So mine was just that I moved out of home when I was quite young. Um, so I was I was 15 and I moved out of home and I did the park thing, I did the share house thing, I did the um, welfare thing, and you know it was really difficult. And I finally came round to the um, the prospect that it's it's not all bad, and I was able to um, somehow keep myself in school. Shanae's story is the most personal of all. One of the most significant things that have happened to me is having my father pass away on me when I was quite young. I've never really honestly and truly dealt with it. And then two years after that, my mum had to go through chemotherapy. Being an only child, it's really hard to deal with. It's just, it was such a significant thing because I had to